out of here, dude. Bess took my statement about the break-in. She didn't mention you. It won't be long before someone finds Dennis. Then they'll be looking for me. We need to stay focused on tracking down Dickie. He was Nick's informant, and he's our only lead. I owe it to Joan to find the truth. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What the are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and you'll need to be extra careful. She's literally talking about some, some important ass shit, money. and that guy was like bothering. Why are you running from the police? We're already fucking like so, four times in. How dude. should we handle finding Dickie? Uh, you and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry, or worry a little, just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'm worried a ton, just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have that's enough. What's enough? Uh enough of a plan. I think we have enough of a plan. Do we? I just get so angry that someone did this. Killed my friends, invaded my home. It's the worst feeling. Like part of my soul has been stolen. We need to find out who did this. I need to take back from them what they took. I need to find some small piece of feeling safe again. If that even makes any sense. Letting that despair break you down? That's how whoever did all this wins. Hiding crime behind tragedy. We have to stay clear-headed to see through it. Yeah, you're right. I think. Then I think something else ten seconds later. Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. That's not fair. Shut up! Sam! I... sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just gonna keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Damn it, I should have never... Never... I should not have never pushed him away. I like him being there. Sam, you sure you want to keep going? Don't answer. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose.
So you're telling me to live here? Looks like it was finished recently. Why a bear? Because life is strange. Hey, look, the fox. It's a wolf. Unknown woman. She looks like she's used to fending for herself. I'm gonna look inside your house, woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look inside your house. Yeah, I see you like to use tools. Smells like patchouli oil in this bitch. Oh, you're cooking something? Is it meth? Oh, the worst lay of ever, like that. The flag of the worst lay. Pussy sucks. Not <laughs> Can I talk to you? Pow. Watch it. The place is full of wood shavings. Why do you have an open flame? I don't remember asking for your opinion. You well enough. I'm Kayla. What do you want? Uh You seem to enjoy wood sculptures. You'd have to be an idiot not to. I'm creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else. That's well, as close to real magic as we can get. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I'm looking for a guy named Dicky. Don't know where he is and don't care. He might be off with his stupid quad bike thing for all I know. Quad bike thing? Loud, goes off road, has four wheels, makes you look like an asshole. Occasionally leaks gasoline and would have burned down the whole camp. Tyler didn't save his sorry ass with his fire extinguisher. Well, I'll see you around. I don't feel like you have to. Dickie must have one of those off-road quads. He could still be here right now. I need more info to figure out where Dickie is. I saw her. I don't want to go there yet. <laughs> Makeshift ashtray. Probably keeps down on fire risks. Time to read. Guess that explains how he ended up here. Bankruptcy. Oh, look at that. The Winchester, dude. Winchester repeater. Diagram. Do you even have a Winchester repeater or what? Dude, he has one of those military cuts. I like those things. I wish I had one. They're fancy as hell. I only fake ones on Amazon that don't even work. The military ones are fucking strong as fuck. I loved sleeping on those things. Oh, the sports equipment. Oh, God. Unknown man. Now that's a man that wants to be left alone. Yeah, fuck this, dude. I'm just messing with you. Oh, yeah, I get to go inside here, dude. It's my home. I'm part of the gang now. What the fuck are you eating? Ribs? There she is. What's this? Picnic time? Probably enough for hikers. Oh, li life is strange again. Here we go. They probably share his assets. Who knows? Hey, is that the guy? It is time. A guy who wants everyone to know he's ready for a fight. Tyler set himself up nicely. Oh, this is his shit? I ain't fucking with them, dude. I don't want to talk to them, dude. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. Oh, well, there's this quad thing on him. All right, we go back and talk to her now.
She fits right in. Anna always fits right in. She definitely has the air of someone who's in charge. And it was going well. It's just, I don't know, hard. It doesn't get easier. Oh, this is Sam. He's a friend. We used to date. That much is painfully obvious. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. I'm Lynette. What are you here for, Sam? Uh, We're looking for Straight Dickie. to the point. Yes, Anna told me. She's not going to help us find him. I do not throw people to the wolves. And you, Sam, are a wolf. You've never had any trouble with him. This is my land. All those who have lost their home are welcome to it, as long as they can follow a few simple rules. Even if Dickie lives on the fringe of our community, he is one of us. All he wants is to be left alone. I would think you of all people would understand. I read the article Anna wrote about you and this place. Wait, you read it? When? Nick's fishing shack. Oh. What led you to create this community? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. You're definitely that, Lynette. Thank you, my dear. But don't sell yourself short. Your article brought Kayla here, and even some generous donations have come in. Did you get your answer, Sam? It'll do. I'll go now. Thanks for indulging me. Naturally. <clears throat> Walter. Don't reply. I'm already making a trace for me when they do a fucking The clock's ping. ticking. Cops will start looking for me soon. So Dickie lives here, but his place should be isolated from the others. I'm getting there. Just need a bit more info to close in on Dickie. Dickie could be here, but I need to be sure. Every second counts. No, oh, I see. Let me just talk to this guy. I gotta talk to him. Tyler, right? Jackass, right? Some people call me that, yeah. Huh. I'll bet. How do you end up in a place like this? None of your goddamn business. How did you and Anna meet? You're not the type she normally hangs out with. Maybe you're not the type she normally hangs out with. You ever consider that? Trust me, I have. Just tell me where Dickie is and I'll leave. Either that or you'll leave when I break your face. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview thing. Told my story, did good by me, by us. And that guy that came after her, Nick, he's solid. Came down here three or four times. Taught me a great recipe for bass. But you, you're just some asshole. Dickie's one of ours. Don't think you're getting anywhere near his trailer. So beat it before I break your knees. So Dickie is in one of the trailers. That narrows down my search. I know enough to make an educated guess. Dickie's gotta be in one of these places. Sup, you a friend of Kayla's or something? Name's JR, I'm... Wait, you're that fucking reporter. I was. Fucking up everyone's lives. That's a real talent. Former miner. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm just looking for Dickie. And you think I'll snitch? Get the fuck out of here. You keep bothering me, and I'm gonna stop being nice.
Damn, all the miners hate him. Where's the quad thing? I need to find out where Dickie's hiding. He's here somewhere. I see a little bit, but I, I see two of them with quad thingies. That one does not have a quad thing. That one does right there. And this one does as well. But how do I tell which one's which? But it said it'll be on the outskirts. But I don't see his quad or here. His quad. Is he here? That one doesn't have a quad bike. Fuck it, I'll do this one. What's that? This one looks like a regular one, and then this one has like a green thing on that. It's probably this one. There's a quad, but Dickie's supposed to be in a trailer. Oh, there's a tent. Okay. Quad. Isolated. Someone lives here. That's where Dickie's hiding. Time to pay him a okay. visit. One of the two. That's one. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here or have you damn well please. So back the hell off. Or I will fuck you up. Hey, I don't want any trouble, just sorry. I should kick your ass out of principle. Hey man, this guy ain't worth it. Just forget him. But if he doesn't get the message soon, I'll help you work him over. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna get past these two if I want to reach Dickie. I need to get them to look away from his trailer. Around Kayla's tent is the most efficient spot for a distraction. It's at the opposite end of the camp. They'd have their backs turned to me. But I still need a place to hide. They'd suspect me right away. Cabin stands right in the middle of the camp. Far enough from everyone for them to not notice me. Close enough to reach Dickie before they come back. It'd be my best shot. I have a plan. All that remains is to figure out the details. Fuck me. He just gave me a... They seem pretty proud of this place. Not what I was expecting. Have yeah, that miners' lives matter and shit. With all the flammable lacquer and varnish, this thing catching fire is sure to divert attention. <laughs> oh, it's out of the shit. way so no one should get hurt, but there will be That's lots of chaos. That's fucked up. I just need to work out the exact details. That's fucked up, dude. Don't, don't. It won't take long for the fire to reach those, and when it does, they'll go up in flames in a second. Need to account for that. The statue will be collateral damage once the fire spreads. No other option. I don't like this. If I lit the wood shavings, the varnish on the statue would catch fire. Varnish. Cans empty. Probably used on that statue. Very flammable stuff. I can no, get the fire going, but it won't do any good if they put it out right away. I need to check for ways they could put it out. The fire needs to burn long enough to distract. Jesus Christ, to dude. This guy is a fucking killer. My God. I should have listened to my friend. I done goofed. They're in a panic. They might not see me hiding under this. You really want me to fucking blow up her shit? This guy's fucking crazy. Shovel, hose, bucket. Nothing useful, but there's enough room to hide in here. It's deep enough. Could squeeze in here. 
pantry looks like the best choice. The rest looks too obvious. They're gonna try to grab shit in here. The shovel to burn, take iron out the fire. Okay, so it's guaranteed the pantry. Hide in the pantry when I'm gonna fucking burn her shit. That's fucked up, man. Pre Socratic philosophy. Dog eared and well read. Me touching her shit like it's nobody's business? Oh, shit. I saw shit. this picture in Ethan's bar, only intact. Guess I know who's been cut out. It's the sister. It's Ethan's sister. I see, dude. I see, dude. The hose. If I sabotage Lynette's old hose, she'll have to find something else to put the fire out with. Damn, this guy's fucking conniving, man. I saw a fire extinguisher in here earlier. If Tyler gets it, the fire might not burn long enough for me to reach Dickie. If I hid Tyler's keys, it'd take him longer to get the fire extinguisher from his trunk. I'm already dedicated to this mission. I see already, dude. I've got everything I need. Oh, but fuck. I won't be able to do it by myself. I need Anna's help. You are so fucked up, man. I don't know about this. This is not my choice. And I need you to fucking betray your communion. Hey, uh, Anna. I need community. Can I have a quick sidebar? I found him. Where? The goon squad won't let me near it. Lynette isn't going to be any better. They look after their own. I can get there, but I'll need your help. What exactly are you planning? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. I need to create a distraction to get to Dickie. Just gonna fucking a statue outside Kayla's tent on fire would work. Kill it's everyone. I wait for Anna to act first, or I won't have enough time. Then I can use a match to ignite the splinters and get the fire started. Jesus. I'll have Christ. to get out of there before Lynette and Kayla can close in on me. After that, I'll hide in the cabin. No, that's all bad. Tyler and JR will leave to put the fire out. It'll give me a window of opportunity to run to Dickie's trailer unnoticed. Good stuff. Uh, wait, once alone. Yeah, and then you go to the pantry. Lynette will go for her hose. She's right next to it. Definitely a problem. First step, the statue goes up in flames. This will get everyone's attention. Tyler will immediately run to his van to get the fire extinguisher. If he does get it, the fire won't burn for long.
would move differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. The key sounds like the best. Oh, how do I get out of here? I don't mean to. God damn it! I'm gonna get caught at the end. differently based on what Anna does. I need to keep it in mind. the hose, Lynette will look for a spare in the closet. Sounds like a bad idea. So the host thing is good because he he will see me. And then the curtain's the best thing, and then one's alone. That should be it, right? That should be it. there. That's it. That'll do it. No one will see me get to Dickie. I need to time everything carefully. I'll only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to go. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You'll have to be cautious. I need you to sabotage the water hose. Unscrew the cap where it attaches so there's no pressure. Okay, but why? Do you trust me? Yes. Then trust me. About to cause this issues in this whole community. Goodbye, bear and owl. Bastard, dude. 
Hello, I'm here in front of your trailer like that. Oh shit! Shit! What the hell? I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Oh no, look. I'm real sorry I clocked you and shit. Clock me? You were the one that broke into Anna's house. You took something from Nick's computer. What was it? Where is it? I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just wanna take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. I just agreed to talk to him, but just like a quote or something. I didn't know he was gonna put so much together. He was gonna pin us to the wall. And now I'm as good as dead. You don't understand, man, I can't. Stop rambling. What did you take? His notes about his article, about the dealing and the, the drugs and names of dealers, and sellers, buyers, everything. I had to or I was gonna be next. You gotta believe me. What'd you do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the dead drop up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. Oh man, I'm totally fucked now. When he hears I snitched again, I'm fucking done. But how was I supposed to know Nick was gonna stir shit up? Are you saying he's involved in Nick's death? Tell me. Come on, just let me go. Please, I already told you everything. No, just let me go, all right? I really gotta leave town before he finds me. I'm begging you, man. Let me go. Let me go. Help! Anyone! Help me! Shut up! Hey, asswipe! I said let him go. I didn't even do anything. Should've known. Damn firebug. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Sam. Sam, we have to get out of here. Shut up. Your ass ain't any better. You brought him here. You had this coming. I can explain. Oh, you'll explain, all right. So I'm gonna give you my rifle. We're leaving. God damn it, woman! All right, Dexter, JR wanted me to give you a little shout out. He says to call you a bastard, but I've never met you. You might be perfectly nice for all I know, you bastard. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll break your fucking legs.